hello everyone welcome back to my channel so dear friends uh, today i'm with another important topic uh, for this particular subject that is control engineering 18 me 71 i know you are watching this video in the examination times i know you are the engineers you are the one night engineers so stay connected with me till end so i i will give the clear picture of this particular derivation which is the most important one as far as vtu examination is concerned if you uh, see the pa uh, paper also of the vtu uh, it is february march 2022 okay so the question is derive the expression of steady state error for a simple closed loop system and state the factors on which it depends okay so let us derive it dear friends so uh, this is the closed loop system it is the input r of s it is the summing point this is error signal e of s g of s is the forward path and c of s is output and h of s is feedback path okay and b of s is your uh, what we call feedback signal okay so uh, consider a simple closed loop system using negative feedback as shown in figure okay this is the negative feedback here you can observe so is uh, this this is the h of s which is which is nothing but feedback path over here okay where e of s uh, is the error signal b of s is your uh, feedback signal okay now if i just derive this particular equation particular expression i can say now e of s if you are observing dear friends in the figure itself so e of s i can write down this input r of s which is positive and this negative uh, b of s okay so minus times b of s this is the combination of these two error signal is the combination of input and this feedback signal so r of s minus b of s is the first equation i can say right next one is b of s i can write down b of s is equal to, that is feedback signal if you observe it is nothing but h of s into this c of s it is connected to the c of s so c of s into h of s i can write down okay so it is uh, c of s into h of s this is your second equation okay if i just put this uh, b of s value in the first equation okay put b of s in equation first okay i will get e of s is equal to r of s okay minus b of s you are getting here that is c of s into h of s okay i hope you are getting this is your third equation now and also I can write down in the figure itself this c of s so c of s is equal to e of s into g of s okay so this is e of s into uh, what we call g of s okay this is your fourth equation i can say that so if i just put this uh, equation fourth in equation third there is a cs i can put the value of cs in this particular third equation so put put a c of s value in equation third okay in equation third right so see here dear friends what i can get here so i am putting c of s value in the equation third so you will get e of s is equal to r of s as it is minus c of s is nothing but this e of s into g of s so i can write e of s into g of s into same h of s okay i hope it is clear so e of s i can write down e of s this uh, e of s is negative here on the right hand side i can bring it to the left hand side so it will become positive so positive e of s into g of s into h of s okay is equal to r of s right so then i can write down this uh, e of s e of s i will take common so e of s i will take common i will get one plus this is g of s into h of s okay is equal to r of s over here right then i can write down e of s is equal to this r of s as it is this is in the multiplication with e of s when i just uh, transfer it to the right hand side it will divide so i will get 1 plus g of s into h of s right so but we have feedback uh, in this particular uh, what we call as problem so you uh, i am considering uh, simple closed loop system using negative feedback okay so h of s is the negative feedback that is why i am getting here 1 plus g of s into h of s so i can write here for non unity non unity feedback means when uh, feedback is not one over here if feedback is one unity then i can write simply r of s 1 plus g of s this h of s is one in terms of unity feedback so i can write here for unity feedback right 
unity feedback so now there is uh, some little bit theory theoretical part dear friends which you have to remember and also you should write this uh, particular part in the examination also so will you you will get uh, 10 marks out of 10 so this e of s is nothing but it is the error in laplace domain okay and is expressed in terms of s that is e of s when we talk about the uh, time domain especially we are reading about the time domains in the second module so you should write in terms of t so we want to calculate error value in time domain right so uh, corresponding error will be if we uh, want to calculate error actually in the question itself we want to calculate the uh, what we call error steady state error we have to calculate or we have to give the expression for this right so i am taking the error will be e of t now first of all let us understand what does this steady state mean now steady state if we want to understand okay so therefore steady state steady state of the system steady state of the system is that state that state which remains which remains at t tends to infinity infinity okay which always tends to uh, what we call infinity over here that is called the steady state so therefore steady state error we have to calculate steady state error okay it is denoted by ess which is steady state error which is always equal to limit t tends to infinity right in the above definition steady state of the system is that state which remains that t tends to infinity that is uh, steady state error is equal to limit of t tends to infinity error of t right now we can uh, relate this above equation in terms of the laplace domain okay so you have to write down step by step in the video examination so you will get uh, proper marks you will get exact marks so we can relate this in laplace domain okay laplace domain okay by using by using final value theorem final value theorem what does it says i can write which states which states that which states that limit t tends to infinity okay f of t if f of t is the function and limit t tends to infinity f of t it is always equal to limit of s tends to 0 s f of s in terms of laplace domain you should remember these what we call as terminologies here uh, final value theorem which states that limit t tends to infinity f of t uh, which is equal to limit of s s tends to 0 f of s okay where this f of s is nothing but laplace of uh, f of t function okay so this is one term then therefore i can write e of s s is equal to limit of e of t s tends to sorry t tends to infinity as definition itself limit limit t tends to infinity e of t i can write limit e of t t tends to infinity is equal to limit of s tends to 0 s e of s as per this final very theorem f of t is here e of t so limit of s tends to 0 s here and f of s is here e of s okay so where you can write down e of s is nothing but laplace of e of t right i hope you are getting my point now this e of s already we have calculated in the above steps right so this is e of s is equal to r of s 1 plus g of s now you have to substitute in this particular equation you will get e s s is equal to limit of e of t upon t tends to infinity which is equal to limit of s s tends to 0 this e of s i already uh, get it in the above step that is r of s upon 1 plus g of s into h of s okay so this is your e of s function right so this is your final steady state error which you can write it in the format of ess is equal to only limit of s tends to 0 s r of s upon 1 plus g of s into h of s over here right so dear friends you should remember uh, this uh, 1 plus is just because feedback is negative so uh, you can write here for negative feedback negative feedback if positive feedback is there then you should use negative formula okay 1 minus g of s h of s this is all about the formula and also one thing is mentioned in the question 
that is uh, what we call the factors on which it depends okay so you can see here state the factors on which it depends okay so let me write down some factors factors okay so first one is nothing but r of s which is input that is reference input you can write down reference input and it is types what are the types of the input over there and magnitude this is the one point okay one factor magnitude on which it depends second one is the g of s into h of s which is forward path and feedback path that is open loop transfer function which is also called as open loop transfer function right next one is <clears throat> third point on which it depends that is dominant non-linearities non-linearities present if any if any okay so these are the factors on which uh, this particular steady state error depends so this is your 10 marks full 10 marks question if you write down in this particular format you will easily get 10 marks dear friends so this is the format of this question derive the ex expression so you have to draw the block diagram first then accordingly you have to write down the signals e of s uh, whatever the equations you are getting then accordingly you just proceed and you will get e of s value then we are <clears throat> supposed to calculate the steady state error we are getting in terms of the uh, time domain as limit t tends to infinity e of t then using final value theorem you just put down the value of e of s uh, in this particular function okay you will get the steady state error limit s uh, r of s upon 1 plus g of s h of s where uh, for the negative feedback you should use positive and for the positive feedback you should use negative value and the, uh, these factors you write down only three points are necessary so you will get easily 10 marks i hope uh, this is a beneficial video for you people make sure you will share it with all your friends who actually need it thank you